Independence is the Vibe. I'm Travis. And I'm Chris. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And don't forget to catch us on Instagram at Independence is the Vibe because you know that it is. Yes, sir. So, we're going to kick things off, man. Whew. This week feel long to you? Yeah. Yeah. So, it's good to see everybody. Um, we back in the building. And um, so, we're going to kick it off like this. We're going to talk about the importance of self-care and relaxation. Yeah. I think that's very important, you know. Yeah, because you got to care about yourself. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You got to care about yourself, you know. I, it's not mental health week, but mental health is something that, you know, it kind of ties in with this, wouldn't you say? Yeah. You know, I think everything starts in your mind. Definitely. And, you know, I mean, how could you, you know, and I know that self-care have different, it's like an umbrella. Yeah. I, I know. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people talk about hygiene or they talk about, you know, skin or something like that. But when I hear the phrase like self-care, it's just, you know, basically like, how do you see yourself? I feel like self-care is things you like to do to, you know, make yourself feel good. Yeah, and that, that's that's a good tip too. Yeah. You know, some people find that through buying stuff. Like, they got to just, they got to have some new clothes on their body and then, then they feel good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or like go to a spa, facial. I, I've never been to a spa. Yeah. Barbershop. Yeah, I've, I've been to the barbershop. <laughs> You know, <laughs> ladies get their hair done. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, you know, have you, you ever got a massage before? Yeah. Yeah, I did that once. It was cool. It, it made me nervous. Made you nervous? Yeah. Because at first they was like, you want the full body? And I, I didn't know what that meant. Because <laughs> it was my first time going. <laughs> And they was like, we're going to massage your back and your legs and your feet and all of that. And I was like, see, like, the thing with me, like, yeah. my, my feet hurt bad sometimes. So I don't like nobody to touch my feet. I'm, okay. I'm real nervous about touching my feet because you might touch something and then make it start hurting. And then the pain don't stop. Mm -hmm. So, you know, but I learned something, too. Because when we was, me and my wife did a couple of massage. And they were saying, like, if you're a person that have headaches, they got massages that'll take the headache away. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wait, with no medicine? Like, <laughs> and they was like, yeah, there's certain spots we could touch on your head and it'll, the headache could dissipate. Yep. I was like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> touch here. <laughs> like, touch it all. <laughs> Just, you know. But yeah. they, and they was right, though. The headache was gone. Yeah. And my back felt great. But yeah, man, I, I, I think self-care is important because if you don't, take care of yourself like you say just do something to make you feel good mm -hmm. there's there's chemicals in your body that get released when you feel good it's called endorphins mm -hmm. if you don't release those endorphins at least once a day or something like that you get like build up that'll cause health problems yeah that's that's what i believe yeah. so like not taking care of yourself properly will cause health problems whether that whether it be mental mental problems physical problems you know and being a person that's disabled, I feel like, you know, you, you got enough problems. So do the self-care. Yeah. So you know. what you like doing for self-care? Self-care, man, I, most of the time, I just do do stuff that I enjoy doing. For me, it's like listening to my favorite music. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I love um, the old school gospel music or I love, like, gospel rap. Um, so I'll put some of that on, you know, depending on what my mood is. Um, that old school Tupac? <laughs> <laughs> I don't bail for such a jail. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe back in the day. Not nowadays. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I had to listen to Tupac since I was like 13. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tupac, Young Jeezy, all of that. I, I used to like that stuff, but now it's just like, nah, I'm on a whole nother. Yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm off that. You know what I'm saying? Just, I like to listen to stuff that the lyrics actually mean something to me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never shot nobody, so that hearing that in the song means nothing to me. Yeah. You know, of course, music is all narrative. It's about telling a story, so. Pretty much. You know, <laughs> but, but yeah, man, I, I like to, you know, put on my favorite music. Um, I also found that if you, if you stressed out, like you got, you know, kind of some heavy stuff on your mind, mm -hmm. going for a walk or like, like, you know, lifting weights, working out actually helps to get that pressure off your mind 
because mm-hmm. it make you focus on something else. Yeah. So you know, I, I don't. I'm not consistent with my workouts, which I I need to be. You know what I'm saying? But definitely, like when I'm kind of stressed out or whatever, I'll pray and then I'll you know just do some push ups or lift weights or something like that, and it helps. Yeah. You know, because being a parent sometimes can be stressful. <laughs> but um, yeah, man. As far as like self care, I don't really have no you know no routines and stuff like that, but. Mm-hmm. You know, working out, listening to my favorite music. Um, I like stand up comedy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like watching comedians perform on TV and stuff yeah. like that. That that puts me at ease. I be relaxed. You know what I'm saying? So I like to watch stuff like that. Yeah. And that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, for me, man. I like you know, go to the barber shop. Get that fresh you know, fade. Man. You know they say if you you look good, you feel good. You know. <laughs> How much I think that's true to me. Uh, you know, traveling. I feel like sometimes you got. To, Get a different scenery, man. Get your mind off of whatever, you know. Seeing yeah. something different. Um, working out, you know. Going to the park. You know, oh yeah. Being around people, you know. Going out. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean exposure, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which I mean, you could be exposed to stuff through social media these days, but yeah. you know, like like you said, just getting out. You know, like me, I'm a person that's in the house a lot. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, like, getting out the house, going for a walk, stuff like that, is, especially on a beautiful day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It, it does something for um, my creativity, too. You know, like, when I'm working on music or trying to design something or something like that, mm-hmm. if I get kind of, like, that mental block, you know what I'm saying, I go for a walk, and it'll just, everything will kind of relax where I can kind of concentrate. Like, not so much concentrate, but actually think about what I'm trying to do. Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah. And that's just, that's a bunch of free stuff, like, just in nature by itself. Yeah. Nothing that we said so far costs money. <coughs> well, you know. travel. Well, yeah, you did say travel, so. Barbershop. Oh, yeah, yeah, ain't no free phase. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no free phase, you know what I'm saying? So y'all can just yeah. disregard my last statement. <laughs> yeah, know? man, like sometimes just sitting on the couch and watching a movie, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Relaxing, man, that's. That can be self-care, too. Yeah, because you basically want to put your mind somewhere else. Yeah. Sometimes self-care is just about getting that mental peace that you need. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, You know, I've seen self-care, you know, people talk about self-care on YouTube, and it's mainly, you know, ways to take care of your skin or ways to take care of your face or some, you know, ways to take care of your body, things like that. You know, watching what you eat, watching what you drink. Yeah, self-care can be a broad, yeah. pretty broad. So it can be, you know, the things that we name you know, mm-hmm. as well, as well as, you know, you know, the facials and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Because something that I want to work on, like in the next, I say like the rest of this year, which we ain't got much left in this year. Yeah. But, you know, this year going into next year is just number one, financial health. You know what I'm saying? Because with the right money, you can you can have better health like you can eat healthier and things like that yeah you can travel you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so that financial health is one thing um you know having a healthier diet is another thing because i still want abs but i don't have them you know what i'm saying but i gotta i gotta get consistent on the workout and the diet gotta be consistent you know that's why i struggle it yeah consistency is is hard you know what i'm saying so yeah it all starts in the kitchen <laughs> 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 yeah, that self self care fixing starts in the kitchen, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I mean, you know, you got to care about yourself too. And I think, like I said, that that starts in your mind. Yeah. Cause number one, you know, what I'm saying like God already, you know, He already love you. He already care about you. But you got to care about you. Yeah. I mean, and sometimes I know that's hard. Yeah. If you don't care about you, then I mean, who will? You know, if you don't feel your best then I mean I don't feel like you're gonna do your best right you know yeah. nothing beats a failure but a try you know but if you don't feel like trying it's yeah <laughs> I feel like a, a failing is still winning yeah like you said you, you still try so you know yeah you know God taught me something a while back he said you gotta see things differently yeah you know whether it's something painful something you don't like you still gotta see it differently mm-hmm. and like you said if you see a failure is it's still a win because I tried. Right. Then the next time I try, I'll be successful. Mm-hmm. Because when you try again and again, 
you're not starting from a place of zero, which means no knowledge. You're starting yes. from that experience, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you know. I mean, like, you know, self-care, too, I, th I think, like, you should always speak positive about yourself. Yeah, positive affirmations. Right. Yeah. Because even if you say something negative about yourself out loud, you are still hearing it. You know, and even if people say, well, what if it's a thought in my head? Change what you're thinking about. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. Change your thinking. Right. You know, sometimes it takes prayer. Sometimes it takes reading something that'll have you more positive. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just, just take a walk. Yeah, that's it. You know, maybe you you just, like Travis says, you need to change the scenery. Change the scenery always fixes <laughs> a lot of stuff. Everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, know, you know, get that new experience and just making memories of things. Cause it's, cause it's a break from the routine you, yeah. know, you get away from the mundane stuff yeah. you know so yeah I mean most definitely um, yeah so yeah y'all uh, drop some comments and let us know you know what y'all do for self care and relaxation exactly and uh, don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video and don't forget to catch us on Instagram at independence is a vibe <laughs> cause you know it is We'll be back next week with another video. Stay tuned. We out.